Hey guys, welcome aboard. This is the Erudite. Wanted to share a recent uh, trip review with you. King and Prince Resort, Sea Island, Georgia. It's a pretty good experience. Why don't you hang around? I'm going to walk you through the entire resort. Uh, talk to you about uh, some food options in the area as well. So we had a nice time. This is the view from our balcony. Uh, just hang around. I'm going to show you the rest. All right, so King and Prince Resort, um, Sea Island, which is about four and a half hours from Atlanta. It's about an hour south of Savannah. It's right outside of a town called Beaufort, uh, Georgia. It uh, We found to be a very nice resort. Here is the check-in area. This is where you would come once you, uh, you know, first arrive to check in and to secure your room. Uh, I think you can leave your vehicle here for a few minutes while you while you do that. I thought that the uh, resort was very nice, very picturesque. It was very clean. Uh, it seemed to be standard throughout the resort on the grounds and in the interior. Here is the lobby and to the uh, left are conference rooms and to the right you will see your check-in area, check-in desk. The um, resort itself uh, was pretty large. Uh, this area was was decent size. So you have a bar. You have other conference areas. Upstairs, I think, is a facility where um, you know employees only type of situation, offices, etc. You do have a number of areas to recline and to sit and relax here. This is the lobby inside. Of course, there's a bar there. There is a restaurant inside. Also, I was told that this restaurant is the only restaurant on the island that offers a oceanfront uh, view and so we did dine there i'll let you know about that a little later but again on this side uh, are conference areas uh, conference rooms as you can see it looks like they are set up for uh, a conference uh, right now um the lobby was really clean it was uh it was really nice I will tell you that the folks uh, from the host to the to the room uh, service, everyone was very, very pleasant. So here's a gift shop that was right off the front check-in desk. It's unmanned, but uh, if you want to check out, just simply take your items to the front desk. <clears throat> we saw a number of souvenirs here from shirts to hats to things like that but also if you need Tylenol or mouthwash toothpaste things like that I believe uh, they're they're in here as well um, one of the things I want to show you was the parking the park is included in your stay there is no covered parking uh, we never really had trouble finding parking you know sometimes you go to resort and the parking a uh, lot is you know stays stays full and it becomes problematic trying to find somewhere to put your vehicle but we didn't have that issue here and uh, this is right in front of our room so we're on the third floor so it was relatively convenient to just simply uh, park and then walk up to our to our room now there are stairs and there are elevators I just took the stairs every day because it seemed like it was the quickest route. We were only on the third floor. Um, I believe they only have four floors uh, in this particular building. So, you know, it's up to you if you want the stairs or if you want the elevator. But the elevator um, option is available. I did really like the grounds. I thought the, well, for me, one of the things that make a resort uh, is the way the grounds not only appear, but the way they're kept. So most of the resorts that I have visited over the years that I thought were places that I would like to go back to have that one thing in common, that the grounds are immaculate, they're well kept. Uh, it really is what draws me to the resort in the first place. Now we're going to go into our room. It was uh, um, just a regular occupancy. Uh, it's a king bed. Um, as you come in, there's a pretty 
uh, thick wooden door there that is uh, very secure so you don't have to worry about anybody coming and going other than you but when you do get in uh, your restroom is right off uh, the entry there and again it was very clean everything was in order when we arrived uh, toiletries uh, towels uh, it was only two of us so there are plenty of towels face towels um, um, bath towels etc for us to uh, to be able to um, be comfortable uh, shower was excellent pressure was excellent um, with those uh, doors the way they are uh, they the sound doesn't stay in as much so if you're you know early riser like me and you shower very very early uh, sometimes I think my wife would hear uh, me in and moving about uh, but no big deal uh, the room as you can see was pretty good size room uh, you do have your closet area here uh, we didn't really utilize it we use the uh, dressers instead but there's plenty of places to hang your items and also there's a safe there's an iron and ironing board in as also uh, in there also the couch does roll out so in the event that there was you know we took one of our kids there were there would have been enough space for one or two of them there's a counter space there which i'd utilize you know you can put your electronics there charge your phone your watches whatever you need to do the room uh, and the decor I thought was all up to date. The bed, the furniture, the TV, uh, there was no outdated electronics or furniture, anything like that. Plenty of space for us to, you know, put our put our clothes and even to store our uh, wet clothes as we were, you know, um, before we leave. You know, you don't want to obviously put, put the two together. Then, of course, there is a... Um, desk refrigerator uh, all the amenities that you would normally see in a normal uh, resort one of the cool things about uh, this particular resort is the um, fact that we were facing toward the ocean so we wanted an ocean front and in addition to that we also were directly over the pool area uh, this is pretty nice because you get two different views you get also you get the pool area and then you also get the ocean so if you're booking and you want oceanfront this is the oceanfront options that they offer and at night it was really nice because we were able to leave our balcony door open and uh, take advantage of the breeze and the wonderful sound of the ocean as we slept now we're on the third floor I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you're on the first floor although it's up to you uh, we were on the third floor and we had a really really nice view was able to capture uh, some really nice photos and some nice video the only downside is because of the way the buildings are built and uh, the whole the uh, restaurant the dome is a little large so in the morning I couldn't really see the Sun coming over the water I would have to wait till it come over the building but anyway I'll, I'll, I'll show you about that a little later so again I wanted to show you the bed the bed was really comfortable king-size bed uh, slept very very uh, comfortably now here's where I was talking about I'm gonna kind of take you around the entire resort the grounds as you'll see were very well kept this is not a secure parking lot per se but where the hotel is there's not a lot of traffic you're not coming back to the to this resort area and just like hanging out this is either you're staying there or you maybe live on the street over but other than that I, I never felt like there was a security risk or anything like that um, there were a number of families at the resort but we never heard any raucous you know movement or noise or music uh, seem to be a lot more mature group of folks here not mature from an age standpoint but just you know these folks were here to relax and have a good time and that's pretty much what they did so this is in the morning so there are limited number of folks around it was a really really quiet really peaceful so if you are a early morning person like myself and you like to get up and walk around and check things out or just go take a walk you know um, meditate whatever the case may be this was a really good opportunity to do so now here's the sunrise that building you see there is also part of the resort um, on their website uh, King and Prince they number the buildings so when you're making your booking you can specify where on the property you want to stay now you also get the options of more than one bedroom now we only have the one room because it's just me and my wife but if there's a group 
you may want to look at other options if you want oceanfront you may want to you know just consider what your options are uh, here again you see how immaculate the grounds are how beautiful it is this uh, video is taken in toward the end of summer so you're talking you know grass is still green and, you know no cool weather when we were there we were in the uh, mid you know mid 90s low 90s and um, but it, it was it was really really nice now the sunrise of course is absolutely uh, breathtaking which is why I wanted to get beyond the building view from my patio to actually see it coming over the water so you have the you have this access every morning if you like because you can see people out there um, taking advantage of um, the beach being you know somewhat isolated and being able to see the sunrise you can take some really really nice pictures uh, early in the morning the beach was very clean I, I must say we walked quite a distance uh, on the beach and we never saw trash or or glass you know any any anything like that so uh, they're taking very good care of the property and it's uh, real estate uh, that's adjacent and out front of it this is a very popular area folks that are walking you know uh, you know from a health standpoint folks are just getting out just seeing what the resort looks like this walkway is pretty popular as you can see there there were a number of swings and rocking chairs and chairs and things like that um, my wife and I actually after uh, lunch one day came back to resort sit out and just kind of rocked and watched and listened to the water it was a really good experience There are some rooms in this area also that are multiple uh, room, you know, like suites, you know, two and three bedroom, and they have like a little porch area. If you're interested in that, you may want to look at that as well. The dome shaped building is the restaurant I spoke to you about, the only ocean front on the island. We did have dinner there one night. The food was really good. There are vegan options also for plant based folks like myself. My advice would be this. We sat outside initially because I thought it would be really excellent to be, you know, outside, you know, sun going down and on the beach. Uh, just um, a note, it gets pretty windy. And so we end up having to move further back because everything on our table is kind of getting blown around. And it was just quite windy and it was a little uncomfortable for, for me and my wife to, to try and eat in that much wind. But, you know, we, we wouldn't have known had we not tried it. So I would just advise if you like to... Um, to uh to eat there just be aware that there's going to be a lot of wind now take a look at how far the swell is up uh close to the hotel uh when we first arrived uh we had probably about 75 100 feet of beach and now you can see the swell is really really close to the hotel and at night it comes all the way up to the rocks so of all the beaches i've gone to the uh, verity if you will in terms of uh, the swell was most dynamic here normally you know the beach kind of stays where it is but you'll see in in a little while that uh, that's not the case here again uh, still walking around the resort um, there are a number of amenities that are offered to you as a guest and one of the things, of course, that I always like to do is to illustrate those to you in the event that you like to take advantage of it. Now, walking through the parking lot adjacent to my room uh, were two things. One, a workout room and two, a tennis course. So if you are a tennis player or someone who likes to work out on your holiday, then they've got you covered. Uh, you simply use your room key to access both facilities. Uh, the workout area was not the largest I've ever seen, but it did have some very up-to-date equipment, as you can see here. So your treadmills and different things like that are available. Um, balance balls, you could probably do yoga, yoga mat, stuff like that if, if you want to do that. There were a couple of free weights there in case you wanted to work out in that fashion also but i thought it was very clean and i thought it was reasonable most folks don't need a complete gym you know for their for their holiday you know for their workout but uh here you go now right outside is a tennis court 
and it was a pretty good sized tennis court again it looked up to date looked very clean you can access it the same way again with your guest uh, room card Now, one of the things that I always like when I'm going to resort um, outside of the grounds and, of course, the the uh, my, my, you know, living quarters, if you will. I, I really like to see the amenities and I like to see how it's fashioned among the, the grounds. And this pool area was really, really nice. It actually, I, I don't know, it's probably one of the nicer components of the it kind of made the whole resort, if you will. Uh, there were two pools, uh, one for adults and one for kids, and there actually was technically three because the, the kids' pool was sort of split into a larger kids' pool and to a very small kids' pool where the water was probably only a foot deep. But here in the adults' pool, the water is as deep as maybe five, five and a half. It says five feet, but I'm six foot. And when I stood in the deepest part, it was it was a little high for five feet, I thought. And I said, ah, oh, this is probably more wrong. But anyway, just so you know. And this area, uh, a lot of chairs, so you can come out with your laptop, with your book, you can sit, you can recline, you can sit up, you can eat. There are a number of things that you can do in this area. And our room was off of the pool. It never got super loud, even though there were kids there. It never got to the point where we thought it was a nuisance. It, it was a good experience. So don't be afraid to book a waterfront area and the pool being directly in front of your, uh, your room. I never thought it was too raucous or too loud. Uh, and too late. I think the pool closes at 11 or something like that. So don't worry about folks being out there really late at night. You, you'll st it'll still be peaceful. Now you recall what I said in terms of the swell. Um, there is a walkway that goes down to the beach. And believe it or not, the first day we got there, we were able to walk probably 100, 150 feet out. And it was only ankle or knee deep. Well, of course, you see the waters all the way up to the rocks uh, this particular morning. There's another building uh, that if you, you know, uh, also oceanfront, if you want to stay there as well. I don't think there's a straight on view from that building, though. The building we stayed in here is the only straight on ocean view building with a patio. So just be aware when you're when you're booking. Now again, here are the kids pools uh, to the right is the bigger kids to the left is the smaller kids that area there with a the little water fountain is probably only a foot deep. So for really small kids, they could play in that that side of the pool. Every morning we saw the uh, grounds uh, folks taking care of the grounds as well as ensuring that the pool uh, was was um, the water was was correct. And on top of that, we saw folks uh, bringing out additional chairs and things like that. Uh, that green tent across from the pool is where you will secure your towel. So don't worry about bringing extra towels or towels from your room. They'll have towels there at the beach. And to my knowledge, there was not a limit on the number of towels that a guest could could get. I don't know how many you need, but most people get one or two. Um, so don't worry about bringing personal towels unless that's just something that you want to do. And as a side view of the restaurant, there's also seating underneath that uh, uh, area there as well number of palm trees on the on the grounds that make you feel like you know you're you're really uh, on holiday all these access points with gates are accessible through your room key so your room key gets you in and out of all of the gated areas on the property doors gates etc now, one of the things that I thought about once I got back, we did partake, uh, partake in a sauna, um, but I don't recall seeing a sauna or a spa on property. I don't want to say that they don't have it, but I'll say I didn't see it. So uh, what I recommend you do is this is an uh, office area here, you know, a small business office. If you want a spa service, just check out the website because I don't recall if they actually had. I just don't remember seeing it.
This is an outside sitting area with the fire pit in the evening. I thought this was was very nice uh, feature. You can get your glass of wine, just kind of sit outside as the wind was blowing and just partake. Now here's what I was telling you about when we first got there. Here's how much beach area we had compared to the swells that you saw a few minutes ago. We were really able to walk uh, quite a distance out from the front of the resort. And some folks had even walked out further, and you can see how the tide had uh, recited, uh, re receded uh, from from that vantage point, and we, we walked quite a distance out. So uh, just be aware that if you want to kind of get adventurous one day, just wait and see if the tide goes out. And then, of course, at night it comes roaring back in. Sitting at the uh, gate here it was a really nice, um, uh, nice uh, thing to do in the evenings. It was very relaxing. Now I always like to know what my what this property looks like at night and as well as during the day. And at night, uh, no different than when the sun was rising, when the sun was setting. It was just as as beautiful. This is a a, a sunrise. Uh, video because the, the sun is coming in from the east but from the from the west it was a very similar effect uh, just from the other side uh, uh, of the building but as it got dark and you'll see here in a few minutes as it got dark the property maintained its integrity in terms of its beauty and i thought that was important to uh, to show also One of the things about this, uh, the location of this property is I didn't have to, if, if you want to park your car and just walk, there are a number of restaurants and um, small grocery store type shops in the area, walking distance. The resort itself is kind of located within Sea Island's uh, suburbs. So there are neighbor, neighborhoods surrounding the, uh, the resort so uh there are a number of shops uh and a number of other islands for example jekyll island jekyll island is about seven miles away and we drove over one day and hung out on jekyll island there is uh, a number of things to see this is driftwood beach uh we were told that this beach came to be over a period of time natural corrosion and also the uh the storms that have hit the area in the last few years you can gain a wealth of information at the uh, guest shop right before you pay your toll coming over the bridge at uh, the Welcome Center. And they can kind of direct you in into the island, some places that you want to go from, you know, tours to um, restaurants, etc. Here is a place that I never knew existed. This is uh, sort of a getaway for folks who created this country, I'm told. Um, there were a number of homes, um, cottages, they call them, and this main hotel, which is where most of these folks stayed when they were doing their conferences. Um, it has a real uh, southern feel to it, a real plantation feel, and I'll leave it there. Uh, but right now it's repurposed, and there is a tortoise um, recovery or sanctuary here as well. There's a restaurant on site. But for the most part, you can tour this facility and just kind of educate yourself as to how uh, some of the folks who built America um, live, you know, hideaway type of situation. So anyway, on the property now, there are a number of guest uh, or shops and you can shop, you can walk, you can do whatever ride a bike there are a number of things you can do on on jekyll island if you want to park your car grab a bike and just ride around so all in all i uh i do recommend uh the golden isle sea island uh as uh if you've never been a uh, place to go and hang out it certainly was was worth the visit we had a fantastic time again the people were very accommodating very nice um 
I gave it, you know, four stars all the way around. I, I, I didn't have one particular concern. Uh, ease of check-in, ease check-out. The, the folks sent us a survey directly afterwards. They were very accommodating. Uh, for us, it was our anniversary, and they did send us uh, some champagne. So make sure that you indicate to them if you're celebrating anything so that they can um, celebrate with you. In terms of food, I told you I'm plant-based, so I wanted to recommend two places that were in walking distance that I was able to get some options, and my wife eats seafood, so she said they were great. Uh, Crab Daddy, which is maybe half a mile, less than half a mile walk from King and Prince, and there is a second location called Crab Trap, which is, used, I mean, they literally use the same parking lot. So those are two places that I would recommend. Uh, if you like seafood, certainly they've got you covered. If you are plant-based like me, uh, there are a few options there. Not a whole lot, but there are a few options. They have excellent hush puppies and um, different things like that, corn, and some sides that you can that you can have. I would hang out at Sea Island. I'm sorry, uh, St. Simon's. They had a few more restaurants there. But all in all, it was a uh, it was a good trip, and I certainly would recommend the area. And if you do check it out. Uh, shoot me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks again for hanging out with me. I certainly hope this was informative. Again, King and Prince Sea Island off the coast of Georgia. Have a great one.